Hey guys, back with another video of me impulsively dyeing my locks. So this wasn't even supposed to be a video at first. I kind of just set up the camera and started recording stuff and talking while I was doing my hair because I just like talking and act like I'm recording a video. But then I was like, hmm, I can actually kind of make this into a video. But since I was really just chatting about nothing, most of this video, if not all of it, will have music over it. But yeah, so in this first clip, I'm bleaching my hair. And all the stuff that I use in this whole video will be in the link in my description on my Amazon storefront so that you can find it easily. But I used the Clairol for the volume developer and then I used the Clairol um, lightning powder bleach. And I didn't end up using, I bought two bottles of 40 volume developer but I didn't end up using them both. But I had to remake the bleach three times. Like if you watch, I had to remake it three times because the back of my hair took a whole full cup of it, like a whole full batch. Then the right side took a whole thing, then the left side took the whole thing. And it was just so irritating because I didn't realize how much my locks absorbed everything and how much I actually needed to fully cover and saturate the locks. Um, so yeah, but yeah, you guys can keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so here I started dyeing my hair and I used four colors. I used pink rose and ginger on my roots and then I used violet and French cognac on my ends. So in this first clip I'm just doing the purple and pink right now and I really only wanted the purple on like the back, you know, like the under under part of my hair or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted a cute little ombre effect which is why I chose like lighter colors than darker colors for like the ends. 
and please do not get on me for not wearing gloves because I literally don't care um <laughs> I'm not going to listen and I was using a brush at first but then I was like you know what my hands are going to get messy either way no matter how I try to stop it it's inevitable my hands are going to get dye on them my hands are going to get messy but the good thing is when i did the pink and purple first my hands were stained purple but as soon as i did the ginger and the french cognac like it canceled it out and my hands like didn't have any more dye on them so yeah uh everything i use once again link in the description and yeah there we go too messy to start recording again but on this part I just put ginger on the roots and French cognac on my ends just like I did with like the pink rose and violet gem um yep I did my thing once again um so on the roots is ginger but on the ends is French cognac all by a door and then um for the back on the roots is pink rose and on the ends is violet gem and I ate once again <laughs> once again once again so yeah that's pretty much it I ended up doing petal buns and like tying the front of my hair back so that it would stay and not untwist after I did my retwist um but then I got tired of the petal buns literally after two days because I thought my forehead looked too big so I switched it to like a half up half down two buns you know type thing and yeah it was really cute and I'm still rocking the color right now because I just did this like two days ago and yeah I ate that up period. Okay, bye guys. Have a nice day. <laughs>